I'm Christian Lamichka for Country Music News International and today on the show we have Josh Fuller. Josh, welcome to Country Music News International. Well, thanks for letting me come by. It's been fun so far. Hey, Josh. Uh, for all our readers and listeners here on Country Music News International hearing about you for the first time, can you please introduce yourself just a little bit more? Okay, yeah. Uh, my name is Josh Fuller. I come from the Woodlands, Texas, which is just uh, kind of on the north side of Houston, Texas. And um, I am a singer-songwriter. I play around Texas a lot, and I'm starting to branch out even more. Um, I grew up on a dairy farm, in population 936 people in my town um, called New Waverly. So I've been country my whole life. <laughs> um, and so the best thing to do about it now is to write and sing about it. So, Josh, when did you find out that you have a talent to write songs? I started probably writing when I was 18, but I didn't. I don't think I got really good at it for the next 10 years. Um, and now uh, it evolves over time, and I think I'm in a good spot now with my songwriting. But yeah, when I was about 18 years old is when I started kind of uh, playing the guitar, writing my own songs, and and playing those of my heroes and 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 stuff like that. It's been good. Can you remember the first song you wrote? Um, I can, and. Uh, <laughs> I never really finished it, and I never really played it. It was just sung, and uh, it was about sitting on a tailgate with a beer in my hand. Lord, it's hard to be a bachelor man. That was the, that was the first line. The rest of it I couldn't remember. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I know, uh, Josh, you have a, a full CD. Mm -hmm. Josh was so kind to bring us um, a sample of his uh, songs, and there are five songs on and the sample and one of my personal favorites because I can tell you I, I had the chance to listen to the music is uh, Saturday Night in Texas mm -hmm. so what inspired you? Well Saturday Night in Texas uh, it's kind of a tribute to a lot of the Texas based songwriters the uh, anytime in Texas Friday Saturday Thursday it doesn't matter um, there's live music it's a very it's it's a it's a live music culture kind of like how it is here in Nashville and um, so Saturday night in Texas is a, it's kind of a tribute to a lot of people before me um, there's a lot of song references worked in there um, kind of uh, interwoven in there to try to try to make you think about oh I remember that chorus I remember that line or I remember that songwriter and um, it's just a, a tribute to the live music scene wherever you are whether you're in Texas or in Nashville or or throughout the world live music is is, is a special time and most magical music moments happen at a live show and uh, and it's just it's kind of a, a tribute to live music especially te in Texas where I'm from What's the biggest difference between to play in Texas or in Tennessee? Well, I find more... Um, in, in Texas, it's just I'm more familiar with it. So, it, we jam. It's a small world. It's We get together, and if, if your buddies are out in the crowd before the night's over, they're probably going to get up there and play with you, too. And um, and it's a lot more on the song... The Texas music scene is a lot more on the songwriter, singer basis. Um, and I've noticed up here, you know, you've, there's there's definitely a lot of more people covering other songs, and and they play them well. They play them flawlessly up here. It's amazing the amount of talent that is up here, um, and uh, and it's it's more polished up here. And in Texas, it's it's um, it's a more based on the songwriter than it is necessarily the guy that can sing somebody else's song the best. So, <clears throat> which is your personal favorite by all the songs you wrote in your career? Well, most songwriters will tell you their favorite song and their best song is the last song they wrote. Uh, yeah, I know that. <laughs> uh, the, uh, my favorite so far is actually the one that, that's going to radio now is the old whiskey song. And I like that one because um, it really, so far, no matter where you're from, what your age, what your background, you can relate to that song better. Um, it, it's about, it's just about being in high school or maybe even the early college age years and, and, and hanging out with your friends and we have pasture parties, you know, after, and when we, we, uh, we drink our beer and we meet our girlfriends and they may not be the same girlfriend we had last week or whatever, but it's just that time of, of your life and, and so it, people can reflect back on 
uh, when they were younger and having more fun. And then people that are at that age now, they're like, yeah, that's my life, you know. So they uh, they they seem to enjoy it too. It's just one that kind of can reach out and most people can relate to it and then and it comes out really well it's it's fun to sing it's fun to play and it's definitely live fun to play that's the last song we play in the set and then the band just rocks out to it so it's really fun so if music lovers like to find out no, now more information about you what they have to do um go to joshfullerband.com uh the josh fuller on twitter and then i'm also on facebook um uh, That's that's the easiest way. iTunes, Amazon, Rhapsody, everywhere you buy music, uh, digital music, you can get it there. Or you stay here at Country Music News International Magazine to find out the latest news about him. Or you tune in to Country Music News International Radio Show where we play his song. Okay, folks, have fun. And next time from Nashville, Tennessee, I hope to get him on the show again. Have fun. Thank you all.